Okay, so today I'm going to talk about a few different things. Um, just going to say this up front, this is a PTSD trigger warning about a particular type of crime. Um, if you have PTSD from that particular type of crime, and you don't think you can handle people talking about it, uh, go ahead and turn the video off now, because I'm going to get to that eventually. But, so what's going on is, well... I'm going to tell you this right now, be careful of social media, not about that, but you have to be careful of social media. I'm not going to tell you to stay off social media entirely, because social everybody's on social media, or most people, so I'm not going to tell you to just stay off of it, because I don't think that's realistic, but you've got to kind of be careful, because there are... People, a lot of people that don't agree with you, and debates can get really heated, and people can say things that we really shouldn't, and hurtful things, and false accusations, making things up. Don't get really nasty. Basically, social media a lot of times is basically the scum pools of the internet. Just pools of pond scum not necessarily people but like stuff that goes on there um now there are some very positive groups but even those groups sometimes things to get out of control there's this one cosplay group I'm in for example I mentioned how in my one job my manager said I could dress up as a clean on every day as long as it doesn't drape or it's not costing the drapes or it can get caught in something and so that's where I worked. Well, I told them because the employee manual said that I can't say where it is on social media. I got a few comments that were hate right, comments, sort of saying that they can't imagine a place that would allow me to dress as a clean on, but not allow me to say where it was on social media. And then people were arguing about that, so. It's usually a pretty cool place, cool group, but yeah. Reddit too, things get heated. And yeah, it's like trying to find, sometimes trying to have people understand where you're coming from is. Yeah, it's. Things get out of control really fast. So be careful, social media. Mm, what I did yesterday that was a success. Well, last night I uninstalled that game which was taking up a lot of my time. So that was a step in the right direction, I'd say. I also was able to uh, stay up on the ocarina and practice it for about 15 minutes. So uh, this is what I have here. It's something about, see, you know, Night by Noble. Um, it's the AC, so it's alto soprano, 12 hole. I'm learning so far, just learning the basic notes. Um, we'll look up the uh, YouTuber I'm learning off of for next video. Mention him, give him a shout out. I think it's called anyway. Um, so that was a success. Um, as far as food addiction. What you have to remember that I'm really learning is to give up soda is you may think you really need it and sometimes you can't do, but every time you indulge in that addiction, you're falling backwards, you're undoing your progress because you think, oh, you're satisfying a little bit. Well, you're actually working backwards because every time you indulge in that addiction, you're actually strengthening the pathways in your brain that it make you think that that act the bourbon drinking soda is pleasurable so you're actually making it so you crave it even more in the future so that's going to be difficult uh, starting tomorrow I'm actually going to be uh, starting 18-6 intermittent fasting um, for the brain benefits because I have a goal for something to do by April 4th, video for April 4th, so look forward to that, big one. 
Um, so there's that. Now, on to middle school. Well, for middle school, it was more bullying. Um, I can't remember exactly who that was. I remember one assignment, this wasn't bullying, but one assignment it was on making an atomic model, a model of an atom in science class, and I decided to make uranium. So there were a lot of electron shells I had to make, which I thought was really cool, but I didn't get any points for trying to make something big, which I felt kind of robbed of, I guess. Um, there was a girl who kept dropping her pencil, and kids were making about the fun of it, thinking she was doing something else under the table to me, because she sat next to me. Um... Kid, uh, there's one time a kid pushed me over when I was trying to tie my shoe. I was blocking him, yeah, because he'd been harassing me, so I was trying to get back at him. He was in the doorway, he just pushed me over, but I was blocking him because he was harassing me, getting back at him. Uh, there was another time I was walking in the hallway, some kids were running, shoved me from behind, so I, I slammed him through the locker, and... Uh, actually left an indentation on my arm. I hit the uh, lock on the locker, the locking knob, hard enough that it actually imprinted on my arm. There was... Oh, here's... I'm going to talk about this, the trigger warning, so... I'm going to put my finger up now when I start talking about it. And when I stop talking about it, I'm going to take the finger, my finger off. So, heads up if you want to mute it. Okay. So, one day after school, I can't remember. I think my mother was picking me up from um, the bus. So, like, I think I was on the road of the bus or something. Or maybe it was me boy and they could take me off. But anyway, I think my mother at that time was pick, picking me up. Anyway. I was walking down the stairs, the middle flight, I was about halfway down towards the middle, the bomb set, towards the middle floor of the office, and this kid was walking up and locked eyes with me and I just was paralyzed with fear. He was walking up, he reached around and grabbed my uh, right buttocks and just rolled his eyes and back and said, go, went. And I was scared. I really was. It was like I could feel his hand and not feel his hand at the same time. It was like I couldn't comprehend the sensation. And I was just scared. So he walked around to the right side of me, I think it was, and walked up the stairs. Is that the right or left? Anyways, he walked up the stairs, and I just watched him. And I believe it was at that point I remembered an intro, a short from a Sonic cartoon. Sonic says where he talked about inappropriate touch. I believe it was he was voiced by Julia White. Go look him up. Sonic says he was voiced by Julia White. That clip for about inappropriate touch uh, played in my head, talking about telling someone, like a teacher or someone. So I walked down the stairs to tell someone, uh, walked through his archway kind of door frame thing, and looked to my left, and there were several staff members staying over there, which included the principal and some teachers, and I believe the, the assistant principal. So I told them what just happened. And they just stared at me. Then I told them I can go point them out. And they said, and they just stared at me. They didn't say they just stared at me. So I just gave up. Um, over the next few days, I told a few other staff members that they just kept staring at me. Finally, I told someone I got a straight answer. I told them I could, that I could point them out. And he said, it's his reaction. You can't do that because he has rights told me never to report again because it didn't matter so 
how's that? Something else I got bullied about was this one girl who was bullying me a lot. Uh, and she was doing it when I was outside one time, really laying into me about my mother or something. My mother came up and overheard all this and took me to the principal and talked about it to the principal. And the, I've been talking about the teachers and the principal about this going on for a long time. But for some reason, when my mother said something, then they cared. It's like, do they really care about me being bullied, or do they just care about their image? It just makes me think they really just care about their image. Um, so, go with her tonight. Um, you know, uh, study Duolingo. It's free app, so I. It's not really that great. So if you got a better choice, go for it. But. It's free, so I I like it. Um, so study Spanish for an hour and the Chinese for an hour, which I think it's Mandarin, but just say that for an hour. So two hours of studying for that, and practice my Ocarina for half an hour. So uh, I'll let you know tomorrow how uh, the intermittent fasting goes, and the studying, and the Ocarina practice. Bye for now.